Other than that, the only other change in the directive is going to be a requirement that any person presenting fraudulent documents to any official of the government of Barbados, whether it be a fraudulent PCR test or whether it be a fraudulent vaccine certificate, will be subject to penalties within the criminal justice system. And the Attorney General will make those available. Um, I believe that it will be subject to a $100,000 fine as well as a maximum of two years in prison. Those will be done initially in the directive to cover us immediately, but there will be separate legislation brought as well um, for the avoidance of doubt, even though the legislation gives the directive the power of law. I say so because the Minister of Health has already spoken about this, and we take this very, very, very seriously. And to that extent, we ask persons to note that if you feel that you've gotten past the airport or the seaport with a fraudulent certificate and you feel it's over, don't feel it's over because there's something called post-entry audit and we will do post-entry audits. And if we find that you have given us a test result that the person or the lab from which it has come cannot verify and cannot validate that you received a test or you received a vaccination, then my friends, it will be passed over to the right authorities for further action. I say this conscious that I've heard some people say, oh, the people who were doing it were only just trying to get it done because they were late for the plane. Well, it will be the most costly delayed arrival at the airport that you will ever have in life. So I would like to humbly suggest that if that happens to you, pay the change fee and come another day and get the right tests because we are not taking chances with people and we will do the post-entry audits and that is why the Attorney General is here to assure us and we will work with the, in the relevant governments whether it is the United States of America government or the Canadian or the British or whoever we have to work with to ensure that we can have access under our laws we have treaty arrangements for mutual legal assistance um, with countries with whom we have relations and we will use them so I hope that everyone gets the message that it is not even cute to be presenting either false test results or false vaccine certificates.